Hey guys, today I'm gonna bring you battle against um face from the Smogon forums. We both wanted the standard battle and I just wanted to try out my Hailstorm team again. So here it is. My opponent starts off with a Salamence and I was expecting um, a fire attack at this point. So I just went for my Swampert who takes special attacks like a beast. And yeah, we both get hit by the hail. So now I was expecting a switch because my because most of the Swampers are carrying Ice Beam. So I just decided to take this opportunity and set up the Stealth Rocks. Because if he would switch or she would switch into uh, Salamence again, then Salamence would lose a lot of hit points due to the Stealth Rock. So here I didn't know what to expect of Cofable. I was expecting a Toxic and I didn't want my Swampert to get Toxic. So I just decided to go into my Machamp. But... Um, Blissey uses Seismic Toss here and I was pretty much surprised by this move. So um, I just decide to go for the Dynamic Punch here, not over predicting too much because Dynamic Punch will hit everything really really hard and yeah, it will confuse my opponent's monster so that's pretty great. So I just decide to stay in here and go for another Dynamic Punch. I know that Salamence will outspeed me but I was just hoping for um, that it would hit itself in confusion, but it didn't. So that was pretty bad. And my Machamp dies. So yeah, too bad Machamp. So now I'm debating what to go into. And I just decided to go into my Mamo Swine because Mamo Swine is packed with Ice Shard. And Ice Shard will definitely take out Salamence. So yeah, I'm glad that I'm rid of Salamence. So the score is 5-5 at this point. And now my opponent goes into... Uh, Heracross but Heracross is mostly scarfed and has like close combat and it will definitely kill my Mamo Swine so I just decided to go in uh, Swampert who has like amazing defenses and the close combat doesn't do quite a lot to Swampert so yeah that was a pretty good uh, switch in on my part so I was debating what to do here so I was predicting a switch into, into Blissey here so I just decided to go for an EQ um, be but after two defense drops uh, on the Heracross, EQ doesn't do a lot. So I was surprised that it didn't KO it. So I just decided to leave my Swampy in as a Death Father now. And yeah, I just take the close combat and die. So now we'll just um, switch into uh, Mamo Swine again. Because I know that I can finish it off with an Ice Shard. And he predicts that very very well and goes into Starbuck, which is his star meme. So I just decided to go for the Ice Shard and Ice Shard actually does nothing here. So I was debating what to do but I know I can't stay in and I have my special defense wall Clefable so I just decided to go in Clefable. And since my opponent is wearing Life Orb um, damage will accumulate really really fast. So at this point I was wondering what to do if I'd either go for the Toxic or the Wish. Um, so I just went for the Flamethrower because I did predict to switch into something else and after the Life Orb damage and the Hailstorm it would finish off the Starmie here. So now I go for the Wish because I know that um, the Hail will take out Starmie and that I will get off um, my Wish at my next turn. So my opponent goes into Oxy and I just go for the Protect because that's basically the only thing I can do and have to do. So I go for the Protect and my wish came true. So I'm back at a decent amount of uh, hit points at this point. So I just decide to go for a Toxic because after a nasty plot and I can't really do a, a lot against, um, against um, what's it called, a Zelf. So now I just decide to go for uh, the protect and my opponent predicts that very very nicely and goes for the nasty plot again so I should have gone I should have predicted the nasty plot here and gone for the wish because then I would have definitely taken out the Zelf with Clefable but I didn't so that was pretty bad on my part so now I know that I can only stall him out by using protect and I get off a protect twice in a row so that was actually the first time I got protect twice in a row so yeah, I just know that the Toxic will kill off the Pixie um, on its next turn. So yeah, so Toxic and Hail will finish out the Pixie and I'm debating what to go into now and I just decided to go into Pumbaa again. 
And my opponent goes into Blissey, and I just decided to go for the EQ to see how much it does. And as you can see, the EQ does quite a lot, um, and my Pumba isn't even wearing um, a choice band here, it's just wearing a life orb. So I just decide at this point to go for a Stone Edge because he could switch into something. Um, and Stone Edge uh, hits and takes out the Clefable, so that was pretty amazing. So now my opponent goes into Destructro, uh, and this Pokemon is actually um, an Umbreon. So I just decided to go for the Ice Fang to see how much it does, and I was actually hoping for the Freeze here, because Umbreons can like really be a pain. So uh, now my opponent goes for the Baton Pass and goes into um, Heracross again. And yeah, the Wish will heal Heracross life points. Uh, hit points, I mean. So now I just stay in with my um, with my Flygon and I just decide to go for an Outrace because it will do damage to everything that comes in here. And my opponent go, uh, uses Stone Edge but it does like nothing to uh, to my Flygon. So now the hill finishes off the um, uh, the Heracross and Outrage will finish off uh, Umbreon. So good game here uh, Unfazed, I enjoyed battling with you. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle as well and um, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and see you next time guys. Hey guys, here we have another question of the day and this time I will having four question of the days um, after each battle and these questions will like follow up on each other. So these questions are about your favorite Pokemon in each region. So not your favorite Pokemon in general, but like what's your favorite Pokemon in the Kanto, Johto, Hoenn and Sinnoh region. As for today, we're going to discuss about your favorite Pokemon in the Kanto region. For my favorite Pokemon, I must say it is... Clefable! Yeah, you got it right. Um, I use Clefable in like all of my battles or in most of my battles. And I really enjoy how Clefable can wall things and stall things out with Wish, Protect and Toxic. Because Toxic is actually a great move on Clefable. Uh, at first I wanted to try um, a Thunder Wave set on Clefable, but I figured out that Toxic and Wish would do a lot more. And I must say, Clefable won me quite some matches. So yeah, my favorite uh, Pokemon of the Kanto region is Clefable. And my runner-up would be Blastoise. So, what's your favorite Pokemon of the Kanto region? Uh, think about it and post your uh, answer as a reply to this video. In my next video, I'll be asking about your favorite Pokemon of the Johto region, so you can already think about that. See you next time, guys!